What's up, sons? It's Blinder on with Savitech once again, and there's been a lot of confusion around the Soat Vert mining pool, and actually two Soat Vert mining pools, and so we're gonna clear some of that up right after this. Welcome back. So part of the confusion is my own fault. I really should have in the how to mine vert how-to video gone over a few of the more intricacies of how the pool works, how pools in general work, but going into all those details in every how to mine X coin video is not quite effective. So what we're gonna have to do is come up with another way to approach this. I'm gonna do a very basic overview of the pools that we currently have, and hopefully this gives you some insight into other pools. And we're gonna be mainly focusing on the vert pool because I realize a lot of you guys have questions. So let's hop on over. So if you guys go to coins.sonofatech.com, you can get an overview of all of the pools that we currently offer. We have an Equihash pool, which is actually for Bitcoin Z. We have the two Lira 2v2 pools. One is on multi-pool and one is on vert. Now we're gonna be talking about these a little bit more in depth, but they're both for vert. And moving on, we have the Sumo coin pool and then the Pearl pool. All of the fees are over here on the right. Now, the fees are going to be dependent on how the pool back end and front ends interact and how it pays out. In some cases, the fees will get calculated into what the pool pays out and sometimes what happens is it doesn't. So if it has a TX fee and fees of that nature, what ends up happening is it pulls it out of the pool wallet. Well, if the pool wallet doesn't have enough to make the payments and pay the gas costs and the TX fees, then it doesn't pay anything out because it just runs out of money. So that's why you will see some lower fees on some of these pools because this is just what we've come to learn after building a few pools. Now the 0% pools, they are able to pay out essentially the, the TX fee by pulling it out pre splitting up the shares. So the basic way that pools work is that you set up a single node and then a whole bunch of people come in and mine to it. And at that point, what happens is they submit a whole bunch of shares. These shares are what are going to be calculating your share of the block reward. So let's say we have a coin that has a block reward of 100 coins. What happens is, is when the block is found, which we'll be talking about TTF or time to find and luck here in just a second, but when the block is found, it will go and calculate each miner's shares and then how much of a percentage of shares they had compared to the rest of the pool. So if a miner had 50% of the shares when the block is found, then that miner will get 50 coins if the coin's paying out 100 coins per block. So the next thing to discuss is going to be time to find or luck. Depending on the coin, these are a little bit different. But time to find is going to be the amount of time it's going to take to find the block given the current hash rate that's currently on the pool. Now all of our pools for the most part except for the P to pool have a place where you can check this. And this is where a lot of the confusion is coming in. I see a lot of people saying, I've been mining for 13 hours, 12 hours, 11 hours, 10 hours on vert, and I still haven't gotten a payout. Well, you can actually solve this pretty easily on your own by going to the vert website for Son of a Tech and looking at and seeing if we even have any blocks discovered. Let me show you that. So if we move on over to multipool.sonofatech, you'll see that we have all these tabs up here. What we're curious about is this pool tab. If we click this pool tab and then click the coin that we want to mine, not pink, we're gonna go with vert. We can see up here a few things that are gonna tell us everything we need to know. We have the difficulty, we have the block, we have the time to find, we have the hash rate, and we have, of course, these charts down here that we'll talk about. But the big one here is time to find. Right now, we only have, as you can see, 7.4 giga hash a second. So the time to find, if we're 100% efficient, meaning we find a block every predicted amount of time for the hash rate, we will not find a block on this pool for 11 hours. Now, as people join the pool and drop off of the pool, this number also changes drastically. So this can't always be accurate, but if you're joining the pool right now, you should be prepared to wait 11 hours before finding a block. Up here in the top right corner, we have next payout, and this is going to be the time in UTC at which this pool will run a payout. However, 
If a block hasn't been found, and as you can see, we have found no blocks since we've opened this pool yet because it's only been up for about 24 hours. But because of this, there will be no payout because there were no blocks found and therefore we can't pay anything out. So here's what the problem is. We get a whole bunch of miners in, they get really impatient and they drop off. Completely understandable. But there's nothing we can do as pool operators to change this. The thing we attempted to do initially was to create a P to pool. And how a P to pool works is essentially we have a pool that miners join and then we present ourselves to the P to pool, the peer to pool essentially, and we say, hey, this is all one hash rate, take this and calculate it for us. And so that peer pool will then calculate us as one miner and pay our pool out, which then recalculates and sends the shares out. The problem with this method is that it only has the capabilities right now of a certain payout type, which is PPLNS, which is a pay per last share. So the problem we were running to there is what was happening is people weren't mining long enough and mining when the blocks were being found and therefore their shares just became stale and stagnant and therefore because they weren't towards the last portion of the share, they weren't getting a payout. So as you guys can see, as a, as a pool op, we know all of this and we're, I'm trying to relay it to you all now, some of the problems we run into. So as miners, I hope you guys can understand this. I may give some suggestions here for you guys as far as vert goes, because apparently what happened was, and is nice hash went down and everybody went to what to mine and everybody saw that vert was number one when nice hash initially went down. So everybody and their dog decided to go find a vert pool and I'm glad that you guys found my video. That's fantastic. The problem is, is that we've been running a community that is aware in our Discord. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below. Come by there, hang out with us. They were very aware of how our pools were working essentially. And if, if it's something you guys want to mine, then that's great, but you might, if you're expecting hourly payouts, want to consider some other pool options like I mentioned in the initial video of how to mine vert. So your options for Son of a Tech are mine to the multi-pool, and I've, I've already gone over how you guys can see if we found any blocks, how you can see when your next payout is, and how long it's predicted for us to find a block. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is moving on over to the P to pool. If you guys wanna come over here, the way you can find your miner to make sure it's working is by clicking the graph, pressing Control F and using the built-in browser finder to find your particular miner. And as you can see, we have some miners already here rolling and it will give you all of the stats, the mean, average, everything else. The good thing is, is as you can see, this guy's been mining long enough. So for pay per last share, this guy, if a block was found right now, he's going to get the last share. It's when you start seeing charts like this where somebody mined for just a little bit and then dropped off, this guy's not gonna get paid out. That's just how the P to pool works. Now, this pool has a different payout method. It's purely proportional, so you could technically mine to it, drop off, and if your shares were substantial enough compared to the rest of the miners on the pool, then you would still get paid out. But if you guys really want to find the easiest, quickest payouts, I'm going to go ahead and send you guys on over, on over to YIMP. Now YIMP, and I'm gonna to go to the EU here. YIMP is basically has the open source front end that we use as well for our multi-pool. So they have a lot of different coins and right now they are getting hit hard, it looks like. There we go. So if we come on over here to vert, we'll see that the vert pool has 105 giga hash a second, which is more than 10 times what we have on multi-pool. Another uh, thing that you can see here is you can click the pool tab and then we can see here that they still have a time to find of almost an hour with 105 giga hash a second. So what's happening here is that it's just getting really, really difficult to mine vert right now. I hope you guys can see that. And that's why when this initially came up in our community, I was very, I didn't want to do vert because we had tried Zcash before and we had to just close it down because there's not enough people in the community to keep those types of pools going. 
So we do focus on smaller coins. If you guys come over here and check out the rest of our pools, we have the pearl mining pool, for example, where we have 46 miners at 7.16 gigahash. Now, in this case, we're gonna be finding a lot more because if you see here, the network hash rate is only 774 gigahash. So we're 10% of the network hash rate and the difficulty is relatively lower. If we go to our payments tab, we can see here that we have had a payment at five and at 4.59. Well, let's see when the last ones before that were. I think we had more payouts run at two. So about every three hours, this pool is getting a payout. And you can go ahead and click through here. If you're waiting on a payout, you can always come for the Pearl Pool, which is similar to pretty much any other open source front end for an ETH or ET hash Ethereum pool you can come on over to the pool blocks and see if there are any immature blocks or new blocks. Immature blocks will have to mature and you can see here that the block matur maturity requires 40 blocks on the network, not on our pool, to mature. So to continue this for Pearl, we're going to wrap this up by showing you guys here that the minimum payment threshold is going to be 0.5 Pearl. So how you can tell this is like, let's say we go over to a miner real, real quick and we click in on the miner. Let's just go ahead and take a look. His immature balance is zero. His pending balance is 0.7. So what happens here is when the next payout runs, because he has over 0.5 in his pending balance, he will get paid out. In comparison, if we take a look at this my PC with 3.3 mega hash, we can see that his immature balance is zero, his pending balance is 0.44. Therefore, he hasn't met minimum payment threshold and he will not receive a payment to his wallet upon the next payment round. But when he has had enough for a higher payout, he will do that. Part of the problem we did run into a few times, at least in this instance, is we did used to have the payment threshold a lot lower for smaller miners. The problem was is the bigger miners then were getting too many payouts and that kind of pushed them away because it was too, doing too many transactions to their wallet. And that's understandable. So we're trying to find a balance and please work with us. And if you have suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Moving on to Sumo Pool, this is the longest pool we've had up and running. And Sumo Pool is at a 93 kilohash a second. The last block was found two hours ago and the total fee is 0.5%. And the estimated block found time to find is every four hours. So if we go over to the pool blocks, we can see here that three blocks have been found and are currently maturing. As you guys can see as well, this is going to be the shares uh, difficulty. So essentially you want this to be as close to 100% or below all the time. So as you can see here, we just got unlucky a couple times. There is a certain amount of luck that goes into all of this. Finally, we have our Zcash or Bitcoin Z pool on Equihash and we have 11 miners at 4.53k souls. If we go to our graph stats, we can see the currents and we can see here that the luck is 1.37 days, which is much longer than what you would see even on our vert. And this was actually different. We did have a community member, as you can see, we've paid a ton out, that did solo mine this for a long time and get a lot of payouts. But unfortunately, after he left, what happened was the pool just died off and there's not enough people mining it, whether that's interest in the coin or interest in our pool, it just depends. To figure this one out is pretty simple. You can just go to your worker stats and type in your miner lookup over here and clicking into it, you can go ahead and take a look at your graph and what your luck would be if you're solo mining essentially and how many shares you have. So that's gonna be about it. There is a balance and a paid and this is very similar in the fact that whenever payouts run, your balance will get transferred into paid which is how it gets paid out to your wallet. Now I realized that that was a lot of information to swallow. We're gonna take each subject separate here in a few following videos. We're going to be taking a look at only luck as a possible video topic and then only share or payout methods as, an, as a topic. So we're talking about the differences between all of the payout types like proportional and PPLNS, et cetera. 
So these are some of the ideas. I'm going to try to go through all of them and come up with a very basic, easy way to explain them. I hope this explains at least the issue with our vert pool so some of y'all can rest at ease and either decide to move on to YIMP, which is what I'm going to suggest, or decide that you want to keep supporting the SOAP community and just wait on the blocks to be found. I mean, those are the two options. I appreciate everybody that's been mining to the pools. I think that if you're going to mine on a soap pool and you want good payouts and you want to get good profit, please head on over to something like Pearl or of course the Sumo coin. Those are the two that are doing the best and that's where you're going to get the best payouts on the soap pools. So hope this helps. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next Tuesday.